Hello everybody, Ian Robson here, welcome back to Chunkstore Farm. Alright, we got a couple things going on today. Whoops, <laughs> that's not what I meant to do at all. Anyways, uh, that's what I meant to do. So, as you can see we have minus $4,000, that's because uh, I have been planting potatoes. And because I've been planting potatoes, my cedar has been refilling multiple times and has caused me to be in the negatives once again. Uh, so what we're gonna do is, oh, that doesn't work in this game. <laughs> oh, what we're gonna do is uh, just sell one load of potatoes. I think we did this last time, I can't remember. To be all, to be very honest you, with you, I don't remember the last time I recorded Farm Sim. Um, that's how long it's been since I've recorded Farm Sim. Um, it's not necessarily a bad thing, it just, it feels like it's been a really long time. Uh, that's because I've been playing uh, American Truck Simulator primarily in my free time, so. Uh, so what I was just commenting about before about uh, that doesn't work in this game was the look around feature is what I normally use in uh, Euro Truck and American Truck Simulator doesn't work in this game uh, with the joystick, so. I suppose I could change it. I wonder if I, that's possible or not. Anyways, we're going to let that guy fill up and uh, take a look around uh, to see what's what. Because uh, I am not sure, actually. Uh, I th believe this is planted. Yeah, I feel like it's been forever. It really has. Um, growth. Uh, 11, okay, yeah. So we've planted both of these fields. Okay, that's what I thought. And I believe we fertilized both of them with our fertilizer that we purchased not too long ago. Yes, so we're good to go. Actually, you know what I could do? I could just uh, accelerate time um, as opposed to selling potatoes. Because I believe we sold potatoes last time and it's probably going to tank the price if we sell them once again. Uh, potatoes, uh, they have stayed stagnant. Hmm. And we have the potato washer still, which is still running over here. As you can see, uh, I've just left a... Well, it's not running right now for whatever reason. Because it is... For no apparent oh it's out of fuel that's the reason why so we have a couple boxes here we can sell as well i guess we could sell that actually instead uh so what we'll do i think is accelerate time um to eight o'clock uh because is eight i don't believe it's eight o'clock oh do you even have to do anything apparently we're making that much money that we don't need to sell anything uh eight o'clock let's hop into this guy right here and uh we need to go to the bga because we have our BGA extension and at 8 o'clock, I think it's 8 o'clock, yeah, it's 8 o'clock. It's been a while since I've messed around with the BGA extension. So we need to fill that guy up at the BGA. And uh, if we don't fill the BGA up at the right time, we will run into problems, basically. We will have to restart the BGA, which is never fun. So the money we just got <laughs> was actually from the BGA, which is why it's so awesome to have that thing. All right, let's go to the BGA right there, and I will be back in a moment when I am there. All right, so here we are at the BGA once again, and we're just grabbing a little bit of silage, like so, and gonna put it into our BGA and the other thing we're gonna do of course is put a little bit of manure in there because we want that manure bonus because that gives us a little bit of extra money which is fantastic so as you can see our BGA is slowly going down or it actually just started working um, because we have it set well because we have the BGA extension it works at 8 o'clock so if we just speed up the time by like 15 for example um, it'll start to use some of this and if we look closely, I do love the BG extension. Uh, we want total solids in the feed bunker. We want total solids in the fermenter to be higher because uh, we want our kilowatts to be higher because then we get more money. Um, so we can actually increase our feeding rate to, oh, it's already at 150%. So we could decrease if we wanted to, but we don't want to. We want to keep it high. Uh, so what we want to do is want to make sure that we maintain that total solids in the fermenter. We want to make sure that number is around, I think it's like 11% if memory serves. So, we can probably even go faster than this. That'll probably. <laughs> so, the funny thing with this one is you kind of have to be a little careful <laughs> because you don't want to not fill it up in the right time. Because if you, let's say, for example, you don't fill it up in uh, the game. 
at the appropriate time. So what will happen is uh, you'll run into problems with um, not producing enough electricity throughout the day, essentially, or power. And because of that, whoops, uh, because of that, you will actually not make as much money. But when I accelerated time to eight o'clock, you saw the difference in money, and that's exact. That's directly from this BGA extension, which is why it's so awesome. Okay, let's increase time again to 120. There we go, because we want that manure bonus. And there we go. Take it back down, and let's see what we got here. Total solids and fermenter, eight set, eight point one seven, and we have the manure bonus, which is excellent. 89 kilowatts. This is very good. So if you've never played with a BGA extension, uh, I suggest checking it out at the very least. Um, it's been around for a long time. It was actually in 20, uh, FS 2013 as well. Uh, so if you have, if you don't have FS 15, you can still check the BGA extension out, which is pretty awesome. Um, and you can also uh, couple that with other things like uh, the... What's it called here? Far silo extension, which is how I was able to make um, manure in the bunker there. Uh, that's the other thing you can do, and of course you can have uh, what's the other one? There's one where you have to use a forage harvester only during certain times. Um, I totally forget what it's called now. I think it's the Grünheckel mod. I want to say it is, but I honestly don't remember. Shoot. All right, so we have eight minutes left of the hour. So this is the way the BG extension works: is you have to keep it filled. You know, you have to fill it up for just this one hour, but it only runs for this one hour. So out when you don't have it running, or when it's not eight, like eight to nine in the morning or eight to nine at night, then uh, it doesn't run at all. So you don't have to worry about it outside those times. But when it is during those times, that's where you have to kind of keep an eye on it. Um, but you make a lot of money from it, which is nice. And uh, you also you also make energy for the town, so to speak. Oh, that was totally an auto save there. I was like, "Whoa, what happened there?" All right, so there you go. Now it's filled and good to, and fine. Whoa, it's the lights! Ouch! I was like, "What happened there?" It was totally the lights that happened. Didn't like that. Did that kill the FPS? Oh, not too bad. So. Anyways, that is that, and let's go ahead and just leave that running for the time being. Uh, let's cover that back up, because we don't want it not fermenting properly into manure. It's already manure, though, so. All right. You can just turn this guy off. We're going to leave him here for, here for the time being. We really want to get our wheel loader at some point, so we can leave the wheel loader here instead of using the telehandler. But the telehandler does work perfectly fine. Perfect. Awesome. And I put the growth control mod back in, which is good for us. And yeah, I guess we can progress time. All right, I'll be back when we are at the next appropriate hour. All right, and we're back. And as you can see, we have $40,000 now. That's totally from the BGA extension. That's it. Uh, uh, where's my finances? Here we are. Let's see, harvest income. So Saturday, what was yesterday, I guess? Uh, Saturday, today, Saturday, Sunday. What day is today? I guess it's... No, we don't want to borrow money. Um, I don't even know. Oh, Monday. There we go. That's what I was looking for. It's Today is Monday. So yesterday we made $96,000 from harvest income and other income. I'm assuming that was from the BGA. And that's how much we've made today. So pretty impressive, if you ask me. And we spent a lot of money on new vehicles yesterday, apparently. A lot of money. Anyways, so it's 5 a.m. The growth control manager has done its thing. So let's go ahead and check to see if our crops are ready to go or not. I suspect they will not be quite yet. No. They have moved to stage four, which is good, but not quite ready to be harvested as of yet. Uh, what we should do, actually, is while we're just chilling out here, is check out our cows. That's what I'm looking for, cows. They need some TMR. Uh, what are, they're good there. So the cows will be fine honestly uh, because we have the feed mixer there and uh, I forget what that combination of buttons is now uh, sh control FM I think it is yes there we are so let's go ahead and we have to do five cows still let's go ahead and 
start the manual, start the mixer right now. And then we want to go home and we want to watch. Nope. Nope. Uh, what am I looking for? Yeah, that's right. So let's take a look. Mm hmm. There's camera one. Oh, there you go. He's filling up right there, as you can see. This is good. So he's doing his job. Excellent. We have to make sure of these things. Anyways, um, because we finished with the potato harvester, or potato harvester, potato planter last, well, I did it off camera actually. Um, we're just going to take the potato planter back to the farm, and then we'll go from there. Probably should actually wash this tractor. It looks like a mess. There we go. I had to think about which direction I was heading in for a second there. Uh, so we planted up field number four once again, so it's ready to go. And uh, just waiting on just waiting on them to be ready, really. Uh, but we still have a ton of potatoes, so we're not in any really, really particular rush here to get potatoes. Um, and I think our cows are pretty good for the time being. Um, they're going to be fed momentarily, as you can see in the top right-hand corner with the feed mixer. It's going to do its thing and then we'll be good to go. So there you go, it's feeding the cows as we speak, which is excellent. And that looks like it's weeds out there. It looks like weeds, but it's just the first stage of growth, I guess. I'm so used to playing with uh, <laughs> the soil mod that I think it's weeds, but it's not, not at all. All right, so let's turn right in here. Hopefully we don't get stuck, which we did. Oh, I thought we were going to be pretty close. We're actually good. All right, let's put this uh, over in the storage area, which is over here. And... Oh, our truck's still running, that's right. We actually don't need to do that anymore. Uh, let's grab this guy and just turn him off for the time being. We'll just leave him there. And I, we actually wanted this tractor. We just didn't want the didn't want the planter. Uh, I know there's a power washer around here somewhere. I just need to find it. The question is where? Uh, maybe it's this map? Maybe it's not this one. Oh, there it is right there. I thought there was one really close. I'm just trying to think to myself. I'm like, ah, I don't use the power washer often. I don't, uh, don't go out of my way to often wash the vehicles, but once in a while, it's not a bad thing to do, I guess. Because I remember when it, we when we first got FS15, it was uh, ooh, it's a bit loud. It seemed like it was ridiculous and like it wasn't necessary to do uh, because like you would play for like ten minutes and then you would get and then you would you'd have to like clean your tractor basically. But now it seems like it's been it's changed a little bit, so it's not like you don't need to like you know do it every like every day. And now it's. A bit better. There we go. Anything else? Do we miss anything? Clean off the hydraulics, which probably isn't good for it. There we go. Perfect. And what's the next order of business? Ah, uh, yes, we should probably check on our tractor that we put in the shop because it was needed some work. I don't know if you guys remember. I think that was from an a live stream that we did that. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Looks good. <laughs> I think it's kind of cool that you have the shop. You actually have to purchase this little shop in here too, which is kind of funny. Uh, it's one of the purchasable items in this particular map. <laughs> Anyways, it's fine. I think I think it doesn't need any extra work to be honest with you. So, all right. So I think everything else is good to go. Actually, uh, we should probably check the level of this particular uh, trailer because we've been putting our. I've been putting at least, I don't know about you guys, but we've been putting compost in here and it's at 50%. Okay, perfect. And I don't think the potato washer has been working because it's out of fuel. Uh, so we can actually grab uh, this guy. Just leave that there. And I believe this will be the, I think we'll have to grab, we'll have to grab the trailer. I think that's from the cows actually. So if memory serves at least. So, 
I think what I'm going to do is, um, in terms of farm sim in general, I mean, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue this series at a, I don't know, a somewhat of a slower pace, I don't know, we'll see what happens, but I'm going to continue this series because I really enjoy this map. Every time I come back to it, I realize, I'm like, oh yeah, this is a cool map. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do is going to stop the series on Michigan and... Because I haven't really played Michigan, like, not for a while now. And the Georgian map. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not 100% yet, but I'm kind of like 75%, so... Let me know what you think about that. Um, nope, that's not the right exit. Uh, let me know what you think about that, and then we can go from there, basically. Um, I'm, I'm definitely on the lookout for a new map, another map. I have a, a particular style I'm gonna try to do this time because uh, I don't I, we haven't done it in a while um, and the style I'm thinking of is of course no not of course uh, Russian style map I think because uh, we haven't done that not since Sos, uh, not Sosnovka um, what's that one Vojvodina which is the it was a Serbian map that we did in 20 was it 2013 I don't remember I think it was 2013. Anyways, that was the last, like, that particular style. And we did Bantikau as well. Which is the other, uh... Is it here? Oh, good, it is here. Whew. Thought we just drove here now for nothing. Um, that was the other style that we, uh... That we played. And we haven't played it in a long time, so... Uh, we're gonna go ahead and give that a go again. Um, and it'll also be... The nice thing about it is that it will be, like, completely different style of mods, because, um... They are Russian style mods as opposed to like North American style mods, which honestly there haven't been like I haven't seen like a vast a large number of them. So I'll have to consult my mod consultant about uh, mod selection if we're going to do this. Um, I'm sure he has some map suggestions as well. Of course, I'm talking about Farmer Beavis, and if you haven't checked out Farmer Beavis, definitely check him out. He does some pretty awesome mod roundups, he calls them, which is pretty cool, and uh, he always finds some interesting mods. Uh, and the interesting thing about his mods is the fact that uh, he always just finds very unique mods because uh, oftentimes we have mods that are very similar and you see mod mashups or mod roundups on similar mods but Beavis definitely goes out of his way to choose some more interesting ones out there. Definitely doesn't uh, choose bad mods, that's for sure. So, Alright, so we're gonna go grab some fuel, fill up the potato washer, with fuel and I think it'll be the last order of business for today so if you have any map suggestions let me know I'm thinking about a Russian style for this and we'll see how it goes let's see we don't want a lot of fuel because it doesn't actually take a whole lot of fuel it's like 600 liters uh, let's go with just 200 because I think it's not very much there if I had to guess, I would say it, was, it wasn't very much. Alright. Let's turn around here. And we'll... I think we can drive past the trailer. I think we have enough space to do it. Ooh, maybe, maybe not. No. I'm gonna say no. <laughs> Just based on the way it looks there, I'm like, I don't think so. Okay. So we'll have to do, do a little bit of a drive around. I didn't know you can even drive around here. Does this go all the way around? Not exactly. It goes up and over the uh, silage pile. Lucky for us, we have a 4x4 truck with a lots of power. <laughs> this isn't a problem for it. Um, but most trucks would have a problem with it. Because this is a uh, an agricultural vehicle. Not a problem. And uh, let's drive forward here. Move this trailer out of the way. There we go. Hop back in the truck. And there we go. Uh, fuel is on the end there. So let's go ahead and adjust this like so. And whoa, 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 whoa. Can't see anything. And it's always a problem. All right, here we go. This time. So let's turn the wheel. Make sure it's put the trailer in the right spot. That always makes a big difference when you're trying to fill up this thing. And we should get a little icon when it's close enough. There we go. So, unload. 
Looks like you're just dumping fuel all over the place. I think that's like halfway full. I'm not sure. I didn't want to keep extra fuel in here. How full is it? Yeah, so it's 500 liters. That's what I thought. Anyways, that'll start running now. Perfect. Anyways, that's it for me for today, folks. My name's Ian Robson. Hope you enjoyed another episode of Tungstore Farm. If you did, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I will catch you guys later.